PVT would like to say hello to everyone. This is the afternoon news. Joe Lucy has been compromised, and beauty brand star Pengsi become a business? Recently, Ziaman Haney Biotechnology Company, Limited was fined 60,000 yuan by its online store for infringing on the portrait rights of female star Zhao Lucy. In recent years, more and more beauty brand infringement cases have been exposed. Why are trademark violations of image rights always unchecked? What impact will these breaches have on celebrities, brands and the industry? Young actor Zhao Lucy became famous thanks to the TV series The Rumored Chen Kyankian, and became one of the first-class florists in recent years. Recently, his popularity skyrocketed thanks to co-starring with Wu Lei in the hit TV series The Stars Are Bright. Because of his good looks and cute personality, Zhao Lucy is favored by many beauty brands. Brands like Olay, Guerlain, Perfect Diary, and Little Maze have all collaborated with her, and Fuerja even asked her to endorse the Fuerja and Hui breathing mask product. Traffic is like a double-edged sword. While many brands are close by, some brands with bad intentions are also keeping an eye on Zhao Lucy. Recently, the case file of Zhao Lucy and Ziaman Haney Biotechnology Company, limited about the portrait rights dispute has been made public. The documents show that, without authorization, the defendant sold HMSW salicylic acid mask at five online stores operated by the company, named, HMSW Official Flagship Store, HMSW Cosmetics Flagship Store, HMSW Cosmetics Flagship Store, etc. HMSW Haney Store, etc. Niacinamide scrub and other product sales sites use the portrait of the plaintiff, with the words of Zhao Lucy same paragraph and forged the signature of the plaintiff, which violates the portrait rights of the plaintiff application and affect his normal business endorsement. Full stop. The court held that the defendants repeated use of Zhao Lucy's portrait and name to bind the products they sold constituted an infringement of the plaintiff's portrait rights and constituted use for profit. Full stop. Because the plaintiff could not provide sufficient evidence to prove the specific level of economic damage, the law determines the amount of compensation. In the end, the court ordered the defendant Yemen Haney Biotechnology Company, Limited to apologize and pay economic damages to Zhao Lucy of 60,000 yuan. The reporter of Cosmetics Finance Online learned that HMSW is a new domestic skincare brand that focuses on light medical beauty biotech skincare in the store's flagship salicylic acid mask. Its tail bayo has achieved HEW plus sales. On Xia Hongshu, there are more than 300 related notes about HMSW. Many bloggers and amateur users have planted this brand, and some consumers even list it alongside Kifumi, thinking it is a kind of fix. Good choice for skincare products. But this time, with Revelation, the skincare brand has fallen to consumers with an image of infringing. In recent years, with the development of internet communication and the influence of the idea of traffic first, it seems that taking the express train of traffic stars has become a shortcut to promote trademark. It's not unusual for the star to touch porcelain story in this marketing tactic. Full stop. According to the report, a research report published by the Beijing Internet Court in the summary bulletin on the trial of portrait rights infringement cases in the online environment last year found that among the industries that accused of infringing on online portrait rights, the beauty and cosmetics industry ranks first, accounting for 33.5%. Many beauty brands have been fined or sued for infringing on celebrity portrait rights. According to the incomplete statistics of Cosmetics Finance Online, Zhanayan was fined 100,000 yuan for trespassing Yi Yang Kiangxi, Wang Ouyu sued Fan Milan for using a personal portrait without consent, and the court finally ruled that Fan Milan must pay economic damages to Wang Ouyu of 30 yuan 10,000 baht. Yang Yang sued Dr. Po for serious infringement of portrait rights and finally ordered Dr. Po to pay Yang Yang a total amount of 850,000 yuan. A cosmetic company in Guangzhou arbitrarily printed the portrait of star Liu Tao on its products without authorization, and was fined 1 million yuan. Guangzhou Yanmao Cosmetics Company, Limited was sentenced to pay 50.
0000 yuan and apologize for illegally using Lin Selling's name and portrait on his official website and WeChat account. Li Xian sued Soar Quack for using her portrait in two articles and videos posted on her official account, was ruled by the court that the infringement was established and was awarded 80,000 workers compensation yuan. I find that the cases actually have two things in common. Firstly, most of the stars violated are first and second rate stars who have high reputations. Second, the refund amount is simply the tip of the iceberg compared to celebrity endorsement fees. Even if Ella Utah was fined 1 million yuan in this case, the figure still pales in comparison to her endorsement fee. Along with the transparency of information in the internet age, the constant collapse of celebrities also adds a cost risk to the celebrity endorsement marketing method. For those criminals, instead of spending a lot of money to hire a star who can bring down the brand at any time, it is better to risk letting the defendants borrow money, not any responsibility or have a relationship with them. Dad. I found that most of the brands suspected of infringing are small and micro brands, do not have a high corporate reputation, and product quality is not guaranteed at the moment. Being used by such a brand is also a major threat to the star's personal reputation. If something goes wrong with the brand, some unexplained consumers will inevitably point the finger at the endorsed star, dealing a huge blow to their careers. Thank you all for watching PVT Express News. Goodbye everyone.